Hello guys, I'm Gumud. Today we're going to learn about the International Space Station, also known as the ISS. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified for my new videos. Let's start! What is the International Space Station? The International Space Station, also known as the ISS, was made on the year 2001. It orbits the Earth in every 90 minutes. The International Space Station is a space station, or a big satellite, that people can live in for a long time. It is sort of like a house in space. The station is not just a contribution of one country. It is a connected project among several countries. The United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, Canada, etc. It is the largest man-made structure in space. How was the ISS made? How was the ISS made? First, U.S. designed a space station called Freedom. It took many designs, but they didn't have enough funding, so they never really finished it. To build it. So they decided to make a bigger station with the help of other countries. So they named the spacecraft the International Space Station. It took 10 years to finish, and it's slightly bigger than one football field. Six astronauts can stay here for six months. The ISS is made of many detachable parts, called modules. Its weight is 450 tons, which is equal to 320 cars weight. The first part of the ISS was sent to space in November 20, 1998. It has lots of gyms, cabins, laboratories, etc. Here are two pictures. One of them is the Freedom Design and the other one is the ISS. Parts of the ISS. On the side of the ISS, there are three these big, flat, shiny things. Those are solar panels. They capture sunlight and make electricity. The solar panels use the energy from the electricity to keep the ISS running. The ISS uses the sun to power the space station and everything inside it to keep it running, like the computers, lights, etc. The robotic arm is also one of the parts of the ISS. It is used by astronauts to fix something on the outside of the ISS. This was invented by Canada. How do they fit all the modules in space? It's not like someone goes out and fixes them together. That will be a lot of hard work. Each module has parts called docking parts, also PMA, known as pressurized mating adapters, are also used. We need propellers to get the modules together. Propellers help the module travel here and there. Solar arrays are attached because they all need lots of energy. The common modules, U.S. Destiny, Japan, Kibo, ESA, Columbus, Russia, Poisk. Spacewalk. Spacewalk is when astronauts get out from the ISS or any spacecraft to fix something on the outside. These are things that not even a robotic arm can do. Astronauts rarely get out to do a spacewalk because that is when they get out from the spacecraft to learn about a specific thing to conduct an experiment. 
They do this really, really rarely because spacewalks can be very dangerous. Robots in the ISS. There is a robot on the ISS called Robonaut 2. He helps the astronauts to do experiments and fix things on the ISS. It can also go on spacewalks. It is helpful when humans can't do something, so the robot does it for them, because they cannot feel things, and so they are not harmed. Also, robots can be made of things that can let them go somewhere dangerous and not get harmed. Here is an image of Robonaut 2. The health of astronauts. Before living in the ISS, the astronauts are trained living there and are told what to do in the weightless and the microgravity that could affect their body. When we are on Earth, there's a lot of gravitational force that keeps our blood circulation equal. But on space, because of the microgravity, there the astronauts' muscles start getting weak and they have to exercise at least two hours a day. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching. Bye!